So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, your host at Photography PX. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys in one simple tool how to extend backdrops in Affinity Photo. All right, so here we are, uh, the photo that we're going to be working on today. Um, and the photo is loaded up into Affinity Photo. So I'm using the latest version of Affinity Photo um, using the iPad Pro 10.5-inch uh, 2018 Apple Pencil. And the photo is loaded up here. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the before and after of what we're going to be doing. Before and after. Before and after. Uh, you'll notice that there's a slight shift in the position of the model. I just had to recrop the photo a little bit. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is load up your photo into Affinity Photo. What we're going to do is go into the Selections window, the Selections Persona. Uh, we're going to be using the Rectangular Marquee Selection Tool. Uh, essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting all of the area of the backdrop that we want and then we're going to be using the selection brush to move and resize that backdrop. Um, so basically that's going to look like this. Uh, right, so right then marquee, go from the bottom to the top. Uh, give me one second, I'm going to reload the image. Uh, Affinity Photo for some reason, whatever, uh, it sometimes doesn't show you the marquee selection so we're just going to kind of scratch that um, and we're just going to do this okay so now you guys can see the marquee um, we're going to go into our move tool we're going to use these little handles right here to extend the backdrop Boom. and then we're going to do the same exact thing for the opposite side marquee selection tool opposite side over here we're going to drag up that was a kind of a bad drag and then we're going to go all the way to the top well, I couldn't see that. Uh, you have to be kind of careful that you uh, you don't do the selection and, and actually touch your model, because if you do, it's going to resize. Um, and this is easier said than done. It's kind of hard to know exactly where you're going to select. Okay, move tool. Oh, my bad. We're going to expand that. The move tool is also really a little bit uh, sensitive, I suppose, to your selections. Okay, we're going to do that. So that was the first step. So we're going to just use the move tool. Um, this is the same exact thing when you're when if you want to also fix this top layer up here. Same exact principle. We're just going to use the uh, let's deselect that. Use the rectangular selection. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then move tool, and we're going to go up again and outside of the frame and then now use our hand tool and deselect that. Okay, boom, there you go. So one thing you guys may or may not notice from this, from your perspective on uh, viewing this video, let me zoom in. You'll see that we get these kind of weird lines here. Um, if the selection, it just, it automatically does this. It doesn't matter how good the selection is when you're using the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, you'll always have these weird uh, lines right here as it basically, uh, tries to transition between the pixels. So how you fix this, you go back over into the, the uh, photo persona and you just use the inpainting tool. You set the width to uh, roughly 25-ish pixels and then you just do that. And then you do that across the entire line um, and you just go all the way up. Uh, I just normally set it to something larger just so it's easy just because I want to do it quick. Um, but essentially that's all you do and that's how you get rid of that line right there. But I do want to put that on your radar when you're doing this particular technique, you will always get that line 100%. Um, it always will do that. But suffice it to say, that is how you extend backdrops in Affinity Photo. The final result will look like this, where I just kind of cleaned up the lines. I cleaned up the lines and I uh, fixed up the backdrop just a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, that kind of... Uh, yeah, I, that's that's all I, I wanted to put on your radar. Another another technique in your quiver. Uh, make sure that you guys are well equipped to tackle all the situations when it comes to editing. Um, this is applicable to both studio photography and outside. If you just want to extend something, this is one way to do that. Depending on what you're shooting, uh, great technique to do that. So I just want to put that that tool in your quiver belt so you can have one more arrow to you know slay those uh, those photo editings. <laughs> so you're not a little bit you're a little bit less overwhelmed. Um, but 
as, as always, uh, if you liked today's video, hit us up with a, a like and a comment down below. If you have any particular questions that we have the ability to answer, uh, leave that in a comment. We'll make sure we get a video specifically tailored to your needs. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing so you can stay locked into our channel. Uh, again, I'm Devon Lennox, your host at Photography PX, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, my friends.